the reason. Hi guys, the reason I did that was because these guys, these guys, sorry about my hand. <laughs> these guys didn't print um, all the way, or cut all the way through, so I'm gonna have to cut them out by hand. So I cut them into the smallest bits possible, like this, so that it's easy to cut around and make them look nice. Because cutting by hand isn't as nice as cutting with the, um, with the Cricut. My, my sweatshirt on that used to belong to my dad because um, I don't have a spring coat so I moved to um, moved here from from Washington and in Washington you don't really need a spring coat it goes directly from spring to w or fall to winter for like a week and then it's back to rain and and you don't really need a coat you just need a sweater and an umbrella so I don't really own a spring or fall coat which is something I need to rectify but at any rate, the reason for the sweatshirt is I'm going to go outside and take a walk, get out of the house for a little while. That is the goal. Um, I think I've been in the house for a couple of straight days. And uh, I tend to do that now that I work from home and live at home. I don't go outside. <laughs> COVID! It's everywhere. But um, yeah, I need to put on socks and sneakers and, and go get some air. So that's, that's the goal right now is to go get some air and walk around and not be in the apartment. I'll probably check in with you in a little bit. I forgot that they practice down here. It's a rowing team for the college, I believe. I don't know, it's been so long since I've been here. Mm. Oh, can't zoom in on them. Kinda. Where are they? My sunglasses are messing up my vision. There they are. At any rate, I really like coming down here. It's very relaxing. Just come and sit. My feet can't reach the ground. <laughs> so yeah, they tend to swing. And my little sneakers. It's, it's finally nice enough. I like wearing my little sneakers. Hear the seagulls in the background. <laughs> did they go away again? They did. My sunglasses are throwing my view. Chris got us. We have a record player at my apartment. 
It's his. He brought it over so we could use it. But he got us the Guardians of the Galaxy Deluxe Edition vinyl record. How amazing is that? And Danishes. But this is more important. That's the sharp object to get the plastic off the outside of this so I could show it to you. Songs from the motion picture. I love all the songs. The music in this. Oh, look how cool that is. Oh, that's so cool. The light's making it glare. We'll leave it on the Danishes. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Awesome Mix Volume 1. That's so cool. And, and it doesn't stop there. Okay. Check it out. Check that out. How cool is that? That is like beyond awesome. I'm super excited. We're going to listen to this while we look at houses tonight. <laughs> it looks like candy, you guys. How crazy is that? And they both come um, color with color. There we go. And this one has a blue center. has the blue center this one has an orange center they're they're so cool I'm so excited <laughs> volume one and then this one is the blue is uh, the score super excited I dig it Hi guys, it is Sunday, Saturday, 
Sunday. It's Sunday. The, let's check the date, uh, 14th of March. And I just got done uh, putting laminate on my bookmarks. And this, where did it go? I left them over there. Hold on. This was what they look like, um, full size. Um, I decided I didn't really care for them to be full size for me as a bookmark. Kind of full size. I mean, this is a different piece, but uh, same concept. This, so I did them like the next size down. I took a half an inch off each side and it made them more of a manageable bookmark for, in my taste, for my taste. And I went ahead and I laminated a bunch of them and they turned out amazing. I'm super happy with them. So that's th this little this little piece with the glare off of it. I think it turned out really nice. So right now I am going to be talking at the camera while cutting out laminate on these ones. That's that one's cut. Yeah. Um I have I have. I have um, my sister coming today. She's going to be visiting for the week. She's staying through till next Sunday, I believe. And uh, just her. She's leaving the husband and, the, and the, the teenager at home. My niece, or my nephew and brother-in-law. Sorry, concentrating on getting that nice, that nice cut. Um... And coming up for the, for the first time by herself. She's uh, not one to travel on her own recently due to the fact that the kids or her husband or both are always with her. And sometimes the dogs. Because why not? I wouldn't mind the dogs coming up. Kind of miss the dogs. I mean, I miss my sister too, but <laughs> I like the dogs. Yeah. This, this is here. This is how they're cut when they're cut and, I, and they're square on the corners. And to make it, um, I use my little corner rounder to go ahead and round the cut on the corner so it's not sharp because, yeah, I would poke myself on that all the time. Like that. And it just looks nicer, I think, too. Not rounded, rounded. I think it looks nicer rounded. Yeah, I'm satisfied with that. Set that there. So this is today's chore. And then I'm going to, before my sister gets here, I also have, here, I'll just show you the top of the desk. This is the desk right now. I have the bookmarks to cut. And this is how many print on my, my 11 by 17 sheet. I get um, 12. Yeah, 12 altogether. One of them tore when I was cutting them, so I'm short one on this. But I have the Yupo paper out and the the, um, the alcohol inks that came with the Jazza um, inky box. And I'm going to um, go ahead and do the video for the Yupo ink um, and try to do this butterfly um, all cool and splashy. I also drew a little dragon underneath there. And I'm going to, before Sister gets here, the goal is to film that. Um, edit the uh, vlog. Huh, words are hard right now. Uh, trim up these stickers. Get the rest of these cut. Because the, the Cricut didn't cut all the way through, so I need to cut these ones by hand. They've been sitting for about uh, a week now. Yeah, last week completely got away from me. There was a um, little bit of family stuff happening. And the week just felt like it got away from me between working and um, being available for my aunt. She went into the hospital. She's home now. She's good. But she went in the hospital on, I want to say, Monday. And um, 
they were allowing visitors, they changed the policy for visitors from none to one a day between the hours of two and um, six. So she could have one visitor a day. Uncle, her husband, my Uncle Harold went up on, um, well, he was there on Monday and Tuesday. No, my mother was supposed to go on Tuesday uh, to see her, her sister. And um, it turned out that mom had to work, so she couldn't. So I took mom's place on Tuesday to go visit and bring her coffee and just keep her company. Because um, being in the hospital alone sucks. Been there, done that. Kind of blows. I mean, I didn't get scared or anything. It just kind of sucks. Anyone who's done it knows what I'm talking about. And uh, brought her, her her favorite coffee and visited for a while. She got sent home on, um, when did she get sent home? Friday. And I went to her house yesterday and visited. And brought her her bread that she needed and made sure she was doing okay. And she is. She's doing much better. Uh, she's had pneumonia. She's fighting cancer and had pneumonia for... A month and a half now, I think. Yeah, it's been about a month and a half. There's a, I got a piece stuck in that little cutting groove. Get out of there. No? All right, well, go down there. I'm trying to try to get stuff done. But the, it looks like the, the pneumonia is finally gone, which is nice. And she can start back up her treatments. She's only got a couple more rounds of treatments to do. She was supposed to be done end of April, and that kicks it back to uh, end of June at this point with the pneumonia for her to be done her treatments. So she's a little frustrated about that, but overall doing really, really well, which is a relief. A relief and a half. But... Um, all the phone calls and talking on the phone and making sure she's okay and working the day job and I didn't really get in the art room very much. Well, not as much as I, I wanted to. It's hard to create when the mood is off, am I right? Anybody else have a problem with that? Creating when the mood is off. Plus, the gnome stickers kind of took over my life for a little bit there. I finally have this down which I'm super pleased with because I have other ideas for um, the bookmark situation. And it's nice to know that it's actually going to work. Um, let's scoop this in here and just cut it down the middle. It's bulky to work with. Um, this is kind of exacting work. I don't want to... I don't want to it too far away but I also don't want to break the seal on the laminate because that's kind of a bummer <laughs> uh oh I always do that it pops out of that little thingy hang on it's on the floor somewhere it went way back there that's helpful come here I actually need to get replacement blades finally for okay we're good for this because I'm wearing it out a little bit <laughs> there's a little groove right here that it sets in like kind of like perfection you have to put your perfection piece in anybody remember that game you have to put your perfection piece in in the hole and get them all in before it goes off and kicks them all out I used to hate that game <laughs> As far as the art stuff is concerned and opening the shop, I'm on schedule once again for opening the shop um, at the uh, end of May when I get back from my trip to see my kids. I finally booked my trip to go out to, to Washington to see the kids. I haven't been home. Let's, let's flip the camera up. It's kind of boring to see to look at, right? I haven't been back to um, Washington since... Uh, October when I moved out here, October of 2019. Is that right? 2020. Because this past October was a year, right? It feels like forever <laughs> since I've seen my babies. 
Um, but I booked it for May because um, no one told you you could go to sleep. Wake up. We're not done with you. Um, my grandbabies do May 17th, so I'm pushing my luck. I booked the trip for the 15th through the 22nd. Um, hopefully I'll be there in that window for um, seeing the baby upon its birth. Otherwise I'll have to wait until October when I make my October trip. My deal to myself and my kids when I moved back to New York was I will um, make the trip back to, to Washington twice a year to visit and, and stay connected uh, with my babies. Um, once in uh, June, the beginning of June, because my other grandchildren are both June babies. Gloria and Joey are both um, later in June. And um, the new babies, which I don't know if they picked a name yet. They had a couple names picked out, but they didn't firmly decide on one yet. Um, the new baby is going to have a birthday at the end of May so visiting the first week of June still works out I'll still be around the ba the grandbaby's birthdays um so I don't miss out too much and then October because I want to uh, make sure that I'm not flying when winter hits out here because sometimes winter's pretty harsh and I don't want to get stuck in a, a, a central state on a layover for for a week because I was silly and traveled at a wrong time of the year, which the kids understand. So once I'm sure at some point I'm going to break down and do Christmas, but um, I might wait till the grandbabies are older. Silly thing. See? Popped out again. It's ridiculous. Stay in there. This is one of those chores that I usually have uh, YouTube on and I'm listening to. I was listening to the to Sean Cannell. Um, if you guys haven't looked up his his channel at all, I highly recommend it. I just search for Sean Cannell. He's got a couple of uh, channels, but he, um, he and his team help fellow YouTubers. I'm sure you've heard of him. If you haven't, you should totally look him up. He's got lots of good information. Um, pretty motivational too. Uh, anyone look, starting a channel new or even not new um is that one close enough that one's close enough okay um he has lots of good information at any rate there we go almost done three more and then we're done cutting these and this one i wound up with so you guys let me know if you prefer, like, if you like the look of the bigger um, bookmark as opposed to the smaller one. I mean, it's not that much smaller, but to me it is. Did I do a wrong size? No, it's, it's right. These look smaller to me for some reason. They're not. Same size. I did, I did, I did write math. <laughs> but I kind of like the smaller size as opposed to the bigger size. But you guys let me know. I'm really digging how they turned out. I can't wait to hear other people's opinions. Um, sometimes I don't mind a bigger bookmark, especially if it's pretty. But the laminate, the, that laminators worked really good and it looks um, crisp. Finding all the debris of the cuts later is a little bit of a challenge. <laughs> At any rate, I'm going to finish, um, I'm going to stop blathering at you and finish cutting these and round the corners and film the Yupo paper, or it's Durabrite. Um, this is the paper that came in the box. I know that's mirrored, but you guys get it. Um, and it, this is the Jazz's um, Incredible Inky Box. Right? Yeah, this one. That I'm going to be filming the Yupo. I already did the, I played with the mica inks and I created, um, hold on, I'm running. they're up here. I had to move them out of the way because the desk was a disaster. I created, uh, and there's a long real time video of this, 
but with the mica inks I created this guy and this one I got super carried away I should have stopped it and not put the background on because he looks super cool without the background um because he popped off the page but yeah this was me playing with the mica inks or the mica powders um and the video I think is like an hour long you get to see me mix mix them and the consistency that I use and um, watch me paint and basically make a mess with art supplies because it's my favorite thing to do. <laughs> make a mess with art supplies. Create something cool. Yes. If I make a disastrous mess like I did with this, that's okay. It's okay. It's a learning curve, right? I know now not to not to do a piece with all in, in this because that's way too much in my opinion. Um, and I probably will use them on the bookmarks like I did here with my inks. Just a little splash of them here and there because I think that looks nice. These are going to be bookmarks as well. I got to do two more whales. So there'll be um, four different whales and four at, th at this point and four different um, field mice. And I have this stack of paper left to create out of to create other bookmarks out of. And I think I'm going to try to do, I'm blathering again, my um, mermaids as bookmarks as well, because there are four mermaids that I really like from last year's mermaid that I'm creating prints and um, stickers out of. Stickers I'm still working out because I want them to be um, vinyl stickers. I was going to try and do laminate stickers like this, but I don't like the way they turned out at all. So I'm going to buy vinyl paper and do vinyl um, waterproof stickers out of like the mermaids and the larger gnomes. The larger stickers will be vinyl, not the small ones, because that's a waste of your vinyl paper, in my opinion. Most of the small stickers are gonna are meant for that I'm making are meant for like planners and journals and that kind of thing. They're not really meant for putting on water bottles and your car and whatnot. I mean, if you want one, you can totally special order something. I'm more than willing to, to take that challenge on, but uh, for the most part, this, the sheet stickers that I'm creating are gonna be just for like journals and and notebooks and. I don't know, kids, moms, dads, people who like stickers, people who love gnomes. My sister loves gnomes. That's where the whole gnome situation came from. My sister requested, because I had those, I have these cards, which is also a whole other project that I'm working on. These are all cards that are finished. They're owls and bears and whatnot, um, some scenery. But she asked for 12 um, gnomes, and I ended up kind of creating one for each season, or one for each month, and was it four for each season? Three for each season. Four seasons, three for each season, 12. Yeah, math. <laughs> Woo! Um, at any rate, that's where the gnome situation came from. It's all my sister's fault. So... We have gnome stickers for days, and I actually have a couple of ideas in my sketchbook for, see, see, look how cute they are. I dig how, I just love how they turned out. Now I'm going to round the corners on all of them and get to videoing, um, excuse you, the Yupo paper, which is essentially what this is. It's a, uh non-staining reusable heat tolerant heavyweight non-absorbent waterproof opaque white paper that feels like yupo paper um if you haven't looked up yupo paper it's basically a plastic paper that you can with um alcohol wipe clean and reuse if you want to um cool dig it here these are the ones we did already in my my Christopher and I were playing around with my supplies when I got them and we made cool um, cool designs. This one's his. I think his is my favorite. 
but we made those. I'm gonna, I was thinking about cutting these out and making them into bookmarks as well. It's up to you guys. You let me know in the comments below if you're interested because I have no idea what to do with those. Um, cornering my, cornering my bookmarks. You know, we got little corners all roundy. And I think it looks more professional to have little, little neat, neatly cut rounded corners instead of those sharp points. I don't need to go through the thing again. Do you? Yep, you need to go through again. And I've discovered too that if there's a split on the side, I can put it through the laminator again and it will seal it up for me, which is cool. Because I was bummed when I cut too close on one of these yesterday. I think it was yesterday that I made all the other bookmarks. So it takes roughly. Um, well, now that I have the Photoshop part done, uh, the art, the printing, uh, the Photoshop settings, I can um, print a sheet of 12, laminate, and round the corners in about, like get it all done in about 20 minutes or so, if I'm not chit-chatting, if I'm just concentrating on the work part. Well, how, many, how long was my video? Yeah, about 20 minutes. I'm almost done. Um, but from print to cut to laminate to rounding corners, like trimming down all the excess laminate and rounding the corners, roughly 20 minutes to make 12 um, bookmarks, which I don't think is too bad. You guys let me know. Uh, bookmarks made by hand. And these will be, I'm going to only do 12 for now and I mean... If the shop takes off, I'll do more at a time, but for now, it'll be 12, 12 available in the shop at any given point. So the goal right now is to open the shop at the end of May when I get back from visiting the kids, because I don't want to open the shop and then go away, because that's just silly, because I'm going to be gone from Saturday to Saturday, so that's seven days of me gone and uh, no one to fill in when I'm not here. I guess I could put the shop on hold while I'm gone. But um, for right now, because it's March, April, May, I think that's respectable. You guys let me know if you think I should open it and then put it on a pause. Because I could open it mid-April for a few weeks and then open it again when I get back from put it on hold and, and open it again or just let you guys know that I'm going to be gone for the week and I'm not going to be shipping orders until I get back. That's probably doable as well. I mean, other shop owners have done that. A lot of the people that I follow on YouTube only open their shops for um, a few weeks at a time. Like they restock and they open their shop and it's only open for a short window and you got to hurry up and get your stuff. I don't ever tend to buy from them because it's too much pressure. So I won't do that. I'm not going to be doing that. Right. I'm going to cut these later. I'm not going to cut these right now. I'm going to cut these after I do the video. But look, I need to do another sheet of these ones. But so far, these are the two designs. I could just hold one up instead of all of them. These are the two designs that are done right now. I think they're adorable. I love how they turned out. My Aunt Linda has claimed one already, so I have to give her one because she loves bookmarks. So yeah, I think I've blathered enough. I hope you enjoy the vlog. It's basically footage of last week and some of me doing stuff today for the shop. And I'm going to talk to... My sister about what she thinks about me opening the shop um mid-april when she gets here she'll be here at like four or something this afternoon yeah shout out to my children i love you all i miss you all and i can't wait to visit i know that the girls at least watch my my vlogs here and there i don't expect them to but they they do here and there everyone else 
I appreciate you watching my vlog and any other videos you choose to watch. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more of what I'm doing and where I'm going with my art journey. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.